English, Espanol, van is een enigma. Talk a little about the block size problem of Bitcoin. Quiero hablar un poco sobre el tema de el problema del tamaño de bloque de Bitcoin. First of all, I want to say that, um, okay, it's a problem, but it has an advantage. Um, en primer lugar, quiero decir que sí, es un problema, pero también tiene un, una ventaja. I'm thinking of an analogy to explain this problem. Estoy pensando en una analogía de ex para explicar este problema. Uh, first of all, I want to um, remember you that Bitcoin is created in open source code. En primer lugar, quiero recordarte que el Bitcoin es, es creado en código abierto. I'm not a programmer, but if you are, you can look up how it's constructed. Yo no soy programadora, pero si tú eres, puedes mirar cómo es construido. So imagine we build a virtual world and virtual reality. Imagínate que construimos un mundo virtual in virtual reality. And of course we build the streets and um, por supuesto um, construimos las calles. But uh, this uh, virtual world is uh, constructed with limits. Pero este mundo virtual está construido con limites. The same like a Bitcoin is designed with limits. Al igual que Bitcoin está diseñado con limites. The same like gold, but not like a state money. They can print always more. Igual que oro natural, pero eh, oro, pero no igual como el, los el, monedas, el dinero del Estado que siempre pueden imprimir más. So now imagine these streets in this virtual world. Ahora imagina estas calles en este mundo virtual. Now more and more people come into this virtual world and start to drive with their cars. Ahora siempre más gente viene a empezar a conducir con su coche por este mundo virtual. But as much more people join, we notice that we have constructed, uh, the, the streets are constructed too narrow, they should uh, be wider. Pero como más gente uh, vienen, uh, vemos que las calles están construidos demasiado estrechos, deben er, estar diseñados más anchos. Traffic jam, atasco. So the result is the um, confirmations are often a little slow. The confirmation of the Bitcoin transactions. Por consecuencia, uh, es que las transacciones de Bitcoin uh, a menudo son un poco lentos. Which is called a Bitcoin scalability block size problem. So that's why we should concentrate on designing a new cryptocurrencies. Por eso deberíamos concentrarnos en diseñar nuevas criptomonedas. Cryptocurrency was 
transactions of small amounts of money. Crypto monedas para um, pequeñas cantidades, transacciones de pequeñas cantidades de dinero. And Bitcoin for transactions of big amounts of money. Y Bitcoin para transacciones de grandes cantidades de dinero. Remember Shapeshift that you can change easily uh, between uh, cryptocurrencies. Recuerda Shapeshift que puedes fácilmente cambiar entre diferentes criptomonedas. So we should see this a problem as a challenge. Deberíamos ver ese problema como un reto, un desafío. If you invest very little money in the right cryptocurrencies, you can be lucky. The price can rise very much. Si inviertes muy poco dinero en las criptomonedas correctas, puedes estar feliz. El precio puede subir mucho. Imagine having invested in the early days of Bitcoin. Imagínate haber invertido en los primeros días de, días de Bitcoin. At the moment, I'm very active in creating designs and video marketing for Flat Earth Coin. En este momento estoy muy activa en crear diseños y video marketing para Flat Earth Coin. And for the Spanish community in Tierra Plana Coin. Y para la comunidad española en Tierra Plana Coin. No, it sounds like a joke, but it's real. Lo sé, suena, suena como un chiste, pero es verdad. So now, later, I'll paste some vid short videos I've produced in these last days. Ahora voy a pegar algunos videos cortos que he creado en estos últimos días. I do expect to see lots of alternative currencies emerge. Um, in fact, over time I've revised my opinion and now I believe that instead of hundreds or even thousands of alternative currencies, we're going to see hundreds of thousands, possibly millions of alternative currencies. And all the way down to single person pseudo currencies that are reputation management schemes or um, funding schemes for individuals. Um, novelty coins and fad coins and meme coins and uh, coins created by five-year-olds and six-year-olds in school to trade with their friends. We're going to see millions of currencies. However, all of these currencies uh, will come as successors to Bitcoin and uh, I think many of them, the ones that will achieve monetary value, will achieve it in collaboration with Bitcoin synergistically. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if we see several coins backed by Bitcoin, where Bitcoin acts as the reserve currency, as the store of value for long-term consideration. Over time, we may see Bitcoin uh, be used mostly for very large value transactions, very much like the gold standard. And then more nimble currencies take on a more transactional role for day-to-day -day pur purchases and things like that. But if they do so, they only strengthen Bitcoin. They don't replace it.